Tēnā koutou. In this video, we'll be looking at the basic rules of touch. Perfect if you're new to the sport or need a refresher on some of the rules. We'll look at aspects of play, common rulings applied by referees, but first, let's take a look at the field of play. The standard field of play is 70 metres long and 50 metres wide. There are solid lines to mark the sidelines, try lines and the halfway line. There are also broken lines 7 metres in from each try line. A 10 metre broken line is marked either side of the halfway line too. The end goal area sits beyond the try line, which is the area where players score tries. Lastly, the area between the 7 metre broken line and the try line is called the 7 metre zone. We'll talk more about that shortly. Before starting the game, we want to make sure it's a safe environment to play. Referees should check the ground for any hazards and check players for jewellery and footwear. Only moulds or running shoes are allowed, definitely no bare feet. A coin toss is done pre-match by the referees with both captains. The team that wins gets a choice of direction for first half, choice of interchange area, and choice of who starts. Six players per team can take the field. In mixed grades, teams must have no more than three males on the field and at least one at all times. Players can come on and off the field as often as they like. Teams must ensure they don't have more than six players on at one time or have the incorrect ratio if it's a mixed game. While they're not on the field, all substitute players must stay in their interchange area. Matches can vary in length, but are typically between 15 to 20 minute halves. And that's the referee calls it half time here. The match has ended when full time expires and the ball next becomes dead. Now we're going to have a look at aspects of play. The object of the game is to score tries by placing the ball on or over the attacking try line. Any player except the half can score. A try is worth one point. The match starts with a tap at the middle of the halfway line. After a try has been scored, the team that did not score will restart with a tap off at halfway. After half time, teams will switch directions. The team that didn't start will then tap off for the second half. Players can run with the ball and pass to teammates, but passing in a forward motion is not permitted. Yeah, another great communication from the refs there, um, sideline seeing a, a forward pass off the deck there. A team is entitled to six touches. After the sixth touch, a change of position occurs and they must hand over the ball to the other team. A touch can be made either by a defending player or by the player in position. A touch includes contact on the ball, hair or clothing. All players are to use the minimum force necessary to make a touch. If a player is touched at the same time they are grounding the ball for a try, the touch will count. Back to Daniel. ball down, they're calling the touch. Oh, what was your call there, Pete? No, look, I'd, I'd call that a touch as well. I think that was a great touch. The referee is to acknowledge all claim touches. If a player claims a touch but the referee is unsure, the touch will count. Touch is a sport based on honesty. Players should not claim a touch that they've missed. As you'll see on the Bunnings Warehouse replay, just misses him. And as part of our game, that honesty, so it's awesome to see from Kansas Monica. If the referee is certain a player has missed a touch they've claimed, they will be sent to the Simbin for a false claim. And that's what our game's made on honesty and passing scores. So no touch, why cut or open up the count? When a touch is affected, the player in position must perform a roll ball on the mark where they were touched. They must be standing square and place the ball on the ground between their legs in a controlled manner. The half is the player who picks up the ball after it has been rolled. The half can run with the ball, but if they are touched by a defender or place the ball on or over the try line, a change of position occurs. If the ball is dropped to the ground or the roll ball is performed incorrectly, a change of position occurs. Position is also handed over if the ball or a player in position goes on or over the sideline. Defending players can be penalised if they interfere in the ruck or with the player performing the roll ball. It's important to note that a touch must be affected before a roll ball can be performed. Oh, we've got a little tricky play. How it get the no touch on the yardage going through the autopilot. If no touch is made, a penalty is awarded to the non-offending team. Here are a few more things that can be penalised by the referee. A player cannot pass the ball after they've been touched. Go straight, good defence, touch and pass. Yeah, they're just sort of sliding off to their man, aren't they, Pete, defensively? A penalty is also awarded if a player performs a roll ball off the mark. Yeah, hop off in there, putting in a good dunk, and it's going to get penalised there. That's, that's something that I know herself has been a high standard player would not be happy with. Defending players must retire a fixed distance of seven metres or to the defending try line to be onside. The referee is responsible for communicating the onside mark to players and applying advantage it's, where necessary. Oh, play through. Yes, great work. Here they go. They've gone back to back. Defending players cannot stay still on their try line. 
when a defending player enters the seven metre zone, the defending team must move forward with reasonable pace until the touch is imminent or made. Referees are responsible for adjudicating the rules of the game during play. They work as a team to make decisions and control the match. Referees use whistles, signals and verbal cues to communicate with players. Referees are also responsible for keeping the score. At the end of the match, the card should be signed by both teams to confirm the score. If scores are tied but a result is required, the match will enter a drop-off. Teams drop to four players and play two minutes of extra time. If scores are still tied, teams drop to three on three for golden points. Oh, that is a brilliant try here, Georgie. I think you better get down to... There you have it, a quick guide to the rules of touch. Now, we haven't covered all the rules in full detail, so if you want to learn more, be sure to check out the rest of our videos and read up on the FIT 5th edition rulebook. Catch you on the Touch Footy field soon.